International Church to the conclusion to prepare ourselves for warfare to take dominion over everything God has declared. In the book of John chapter 10, jump down to verse number 10. For those who this is your first encounter this month, this sermon series is entitled, I'm Not Tired, I'm Ready, Mountain Moving Faith need it. I'm not tired. I'm ready. Mountain moving faith need it. This message was birthed out of real life ministry. The young lady in the church was going through a series of situations and she felt overwhelmed. And we began to minister to her. She kept saying, I'm tired. And without minimizing her situation, I started declaring that she said she was tired. I would say, no, you're not. You're ready. Every time she would say, I'm tired, I would say, no, you're not. You're ready. She would say, I'm tired. I would say, no, you're not. You're ready. And the Lord said, there's many just like her. Just tired. But you need to encourage them to be ready. Yeah, ready. But mountain moving faith is required to go from being tired to being ready. But now you should be with me in the book of John chapter 10. I'm going to ask you to remain standing for the reading of God's word. John chapter 10 verse number 10 and then we will jump up to John chapter 3. But let's begin at John chapter 10 verse number 10. The thief comes only yeah. kill steal and destroy but Jesus says I have come that they may have life and have it to the full uh -huh. yeah. jump down or up to John 3 16 uh -huh. and we'll stop at 17 for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal everlasting life. Unfortunately, most of the church stop right there and ignore what God says in verse 17. That's why you can walk around self-righteous, finger pointing, hold it and down. Because you stop reading at the period of 16. And then you see verse 17. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn or condone the world, but to save the world through him. Take your seats and declare, I'm not tired. I'm ready. I'm ready. Mountain moving faith Mountain. is needed. Before we journey any farther, let me make a public announcement. God loves you. And the devil hates you. I can't get any deeper and yet any more simplistic than that. God loves you. God loves us. And the devil hates you. And the devil hates us. So if you're confused about that, God set up a plan, a system, a kingdom, a world to bless you. The devil has set up a plan, a system to wreck you and destroy you. Don't get tricked. 
The devil never has anything good in store for you. He may wrap it up in something that looks good, smells good, and seems good, but his motive is always to kill, steal, and destroy. God sent Jesus to save us and show us how to live our best life. The devil attacks us to destroy us and make us feel like we're too tired to live our best life. Because Jesus, I have come that they may have life and have life to the full. So the devil goes to work from day one to frustrate you, irritate you, and get you off track so you'll be tired and won't claim your best life. Because if you're claiming tiredness, you can't decree blessedness. So the devil wants to mentally physically, emotionally, financially drain you to being tired. And over the last 11 years, this Greenhouse International Church has opened its doors with a mission and assignment to encourage broken people and remind them that God loves them. Yes, and if the Son of God came so we can be restored, yes. renewed, yes. and rebuilt yes. so we can launch yes. into our full potential. Yes. So the devil does all he can to blind you, yes. to be fixated yes. on your struggle on your pain, on your frustration, so you can see what God has in store for you. Yes. Point to yourself and declare, nothing, nothing. can separate me from the love of God. Love of God. Nothing, nothing can separate me from the love of God. If I stay focused on that point, nothing can separate me from the love of God. Then Satan can ambush me, trick me, and trap me out of living my best life. The devil wants to use the spirit of depression. Isolation. He wants to condemn you so you can't reach your full potential. By making it seem like God don't love you. But the word of God says nothing can separate you from the love of God. Not that, not this, not them. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing.